morning. We are now uh, as far as it's now. We're on the way to a cars and cock right now. We're meeting up with the homie Ben. He is a sick A90. His car is super clean. So we're on the way to that right now. Just waking up. I'm normally not up this early. I'm terrible about getting out of bed. I really wanted to get coffee, but I couldn't. So we're just kind of winging it. He has a really, really clean A90 though. I'm excited to take videos of it and uh, show it. He's gonna be driving my car. He hasn't driven a manual A90 Super, I think. I'll, I'll double check with him on that. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to film his reaction. All right, we should be pulling up any minute now. I'm really excited to see his car. I haven't seen his A90 before. So he's done a lot to it. I think I saw it like stock maybe once. But I'm, yeah, I'm just stoked to see him on right now. Where is he at? Oh, I think that's him right up there. Oh, sick. Dan put his car on BBS's. Oh, it looks so good. You can see the cars right over there. Oh, I'm pulling right here. Well, I gotta park real quick. switching cars right now so I'm driving his A90. I'm really scared because this car is super low and I don't want to scrape anything but it's sick. You guys saw it on the previous clip like all the stuff he's done to it. It's a super clean build. He did an amazing job with the car. He's driving my car right now taking a video of it as well. I didn't get to be there for his initial reaction driving it but it is what it is. I'm really excited to drive this car. Check it out. We got the KMP wheel, cage, buckets, dogfight bride buckets. He's on KW coils. I'm trying to figure out what coils I want to run. And KWs are ones that are like, everyone's saying to run because they're really, really good. So I'm really fortunate I get to drive his car. I can kind of feel him out and see like, if I like him and want to just buy him on my own. He told me specifically, so this steering wheel, you have to use the gloves, the sparkle gloves that I have on. It keeps it clean and it's better for wear, I, I believe. But, man, it's it's really cool driving automatic one, because I've I'd, I'd never driven one ever, and it feels incredible. We're pulling up to a car and coffee right now, and I'll, Vin's really well known, so it's gonna be kind of funny. I'm getting out of his car and he's getting out of mine. How many cars? No iPhone? Would, would you do a yeah. kind of a brush? Yeah. Silver like the meat. CSG or endless? All right, so we're leaving cars and coffee. You can't see it behind me, but my car's behind me. I'm still in Vin's car. <laughs> His car is so sick. I don't know if you can see it. I don't think you can see it. You can kind of see it in the rear view mirror. Not so much. The A90 automatic is incredibly fun. I didn't really know what to expect driving it around. Granted, I haven't really driven it that far, but it really feels incredible in its own way. It shifts so fast. The, I think it's the 8-speed ZF transmission. I don't know if he has a tune on it, on the transmission, but it shifts really, really fast. I've noticed that it's it's very, it's very less aggressive on downshifts than the DCT, but it's like equally as fast. I think it feels incredible. I really, really like it. He has a pretty funny reaction about driving my car. We're going to film more of in my car and more in this car of like uh, filming each other's reactions and stuff. He, uh, he seems to be enjoying the manual quite a lot, which is, Awesome. 
he has a big splitter. I don't want to knock it into anything. Here, you can probably see my car now. He's filming everything too, so it's gonna be really funny to see the clips and the reactions that he gets. This is a, uh, he sorted out this car incredibly well. He has some really cool plans coming up for it too. Obviously, I'm not gonna say any of them. Given how good the car already looks, this guy's a man of great taste. He has some really cool plans for it. I'm so scared about scraping it. I'm like taking the longest way possible to make sure I don't hit this lip. I'm not sure exactly where we are. We're at a, a warehouse. Oh. This is my car. God, Jimmy's car looks so good. Just parked up. There's my car. There's Vin. Here's Vin's car. I kind of want to show you guys like just getting out of it what it looks like, right? So it off of course he's got these gt3 r gt3 style door handle straps you just pull them open up let's get out and show you guys the car While the boys are taking photos of everybody's car, oh. I want to get Jack's reaction. Ugh. Inside the Supra. Oh my God. These, these are so much harder to get into. <laughs> no, 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 Gotta no. put the gloves on. Gotta put the gloves on. It's kept the steering wheel so clean. Oh yeah. My car looks so stock. <laughs> it does, oh, bro. Shit. I don't miss that ride height at all. <laughs> <laughs> nice and toasty. The one thing I don't like about the Supra is how the uh, there's no, they can't link both sides together. Oh really? Yeah. So you you have to change both if you're gonna change it all. That's why my girlfriend's always complaining <laughs> because Man, we're changing at the sucks. same time. All right. all right. All right. We're actually gonna be able to drive the car now. I got Vin in the car. What's up, um, guys? You guys have pretty much just been seeing me like saying how much I love this car. It's gonna be nice to actually like rip it around and drive it with him in the car. Dude, I'm excited to get your reaction, man. Dude, I'm excited What are too. your initial reactions? Uh, I know you had a DCT and then now you're driving the ZF8. So it's not a true DCT, you know what I mean? So I really like how fast the ZF shifts. And like the DCT almost felt like it shifted as fast, but like for whatever reason, more aggressive. Uh-huh. Um, the ZF shifts like really smooth, especially like you're saying, cause I, I just brought up to you about like how the down shifts are like, they're really quick, uh -huh. but they're not like abrupt or like they don't you like- don't, You don't do the little jerk that the DCT does. Exactly. And like first and second gear super forgiving. So it's, uh, it's been, I like it more than the DCT actually. What? I, there, you're about to trigger the internet, bro. Know, we'll you're cut about that to out. trigger the internet, we'll, bro. We'll cut that out. The reason I like it is just, it feels as fast, but uh -huh. it's smoother. Oh yeah. That's why I really like it. We, we on. I'll put that on sport mode. I'm gonna set my camera right over here real quick. Ooh. I'm just gonna go out the same way we came in. Yup. I love this car though, dude. The KMP steering wheel is so comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's small, but man, it's nice. His wing looks so good. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be... You've definitely ridden passenger in this car before, right? Me? Yeah, I let my friends drive it. I don't let everybody drive it, so... <laughs> but I trust you, man. I trust you. Thank you, sir. Give it a good rip. And, uh, so Jack's, ha Jack's car is all stock. He hasn't driven it tuned yet, too, so he gets a little feel for what, uh, what a tuned Super could do. And this is just a simple... You know, BM3 flash tune. Which way should I go? Either way, we're gonna have to figure your way back. I think this way. To the right? Yeah, yeah to the right. We'll just keep it easy. <laughs> I think that's what I like about the, the ZF, is just like, it shifts so linear. Like, I love oh, the way it shifts. Dude. The whole power band. Well, of course it's too, but it, it feels so 
like it's so aggressive. Yeah, uh, when you're driving this car specifically, be a little careful too, like on turns, because my front car is very downforce heavy, so you're gonna feel it, like going into like corners. Yeah, and stuff. going to corners, it's gonna it rubs like crazy when you're going at high speeds. Uh, but I do have a big wing coming in the rear, so it'll help balance it out. That thing's gonna be so sick. Dude. This is gonna be so sick. Can you roll up your window? Yeah. Right I don't want to catch the wind noise. Oh yeah. Dude, I love the the tune you have on it. Isn't like an obnoxious at all. I love how it burbles. Yeah, I too. I turned down the burples too. Uh, but you know, if you go cat, I, I'm excited to see. Either way you go, if you go catless RK, it sounds really good. It gets a little raspy, but it, it does sound really good. What downpipe are you running? AMS Cadden. AMS but they're Cadden. all the same. AMS Active Auto Works. Uh, I would just get a cat that is a you know high high flow, 400 cell at least, uh, so that you don't have any check engine light. What I noticed was the uh, when I was going to like add the RK exhaust into my cart, it said something about the downpipe outlet size being like 3.5 inch or something. Yeah, like I gotta double check. Uh, you want the OEM fitting ones because they are four inch downpipes and oh, with three and a half okay. uh, in the rear. So, but uh, I think if you go with the three and a half, you can still get the adapter to go down to 3.15. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, like damn, that actually looks really good. Dude, the intake, what intake do you have on this? I got HKS, but if you're looking for the loudest, best sounding one, Arma Speed or MST? Arma Speed, dude, the HKS sound, it sounds so good, you're gonna Dude, I'll tell you, the, the HKS one is one of the more quieter ones. Really? I thought it was gonna be loud, honestly, I was a little disappointed by it. Uh, but, yeah, look, look, watch videos. If you want loud, MST or Arma Speed. I think Arma Speed's probably the loudest one. There's gotta be uh, there's gotta be some traffic here. Oh, there's some cool cars over there. Wooden mill. Oh shit! We got some Beamer boys over I, there too. I think that's a touring that we saw earlier. <laughs> Dude, that 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 Dude. sounds good. Dude, the B58 is like arguably one of the. It sounds so good. Way better than the S55. Way bro. better. Way dude. better. Dude. Way better. Oh. The active auto work equal length helped a lot for the S55, but the B58 just sounds, it sounds perfect. I know you only had the Supra for just a little bit now, but comparative to, oh, you haven't even modified it yet, bro. I haven't you modified can't even compare. It. Oh. The two, and it's hard because it's like the cars are already such apples to orange. Like they're so different in their own ways. Yeah. And I'm building them in two completely different directions. Dude, I'm super excited. I was telling him on the car right here, I plugged you, but I cannot wait till you actually start doing things and getting it all put together. Dude, I can't wait. Dude. <laughs> it sounds it's so, so good. good. Dude. It's, yeah, it's so hard to compare the two. Like I, I don't like. Overall, I absolutely love both the cars, but the Super still being stock, it's like, I, I, take, I guess I did drive my M4 stock for a long time. All right, but the real question, no, no, go, take, take it for another rip. Another rip? Yeah, okay. just take it for another rip. One all right, we're gonna take it for a rip this time, but hit the red line, bro. Hit the red line? Go, go all the way to seven. I'm scared, dude, I jumped dude, like a grandpa. You got it, you got it, bro. Look, I gotta find a straight then. Yeah, yeah, we'll turn around because it looks like the traffic this way is, just try to U-turn, just coax it for a little bit, make some room. All right. All right, ride second all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> Dude, it sounds Bro, so good. It sounds so good compared to the S55, dude. It's so... Oh, that sounds so good. Dude. Oh, shit, dude. You set this car up so well. Oh, my God. Thank you, bro. Everybody makes fun of the Supra being automatic. And now that there's the manual, do you think... What do you say? Does it, Should everybody get the manual Supra? Or would you? what would you say about somebody wanting to get an automatic transmission? You know, I have nothing against the automatic transmission. I think it shifts really well. I guess a big thing is like what you depend, like it depends what you want to use the car for. 
I know you can like use the automatics and like do like you can add a clutch. There's a company that you can add a clutch into the, the automatic transmission somehow. Yeah. Which I don't know too much about, but it, it really depends on what you want to use the car for. I I need the manual for what I want to do. I love the manual. It's hard to say which one I like more, but I'm I'm really happy I have a manual. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it sounds so good. Oh shit. I love this car, dude. dude. It's just perfect. I told him to, hey, if you ever need any help installing car parts, I really want to be a part of this manual. Oh, at least your manual build. What you're doing with it is going to be so sick. I'm so excited. It's going to be really fun. Oh, man. I'm excited to see what you think about driving it now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I've already recorded me driving it. I was nothing but smiles. <laughs> right. down, down more. Go down more. One more. One more. All right. Ready? Give her a rip, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, that was... Oh, shit, dude. I, I love it, That's dude. That's too good. Dude, what do you got about tuning your car, though? Dude, I don't know, man. It's like everything I see about the ECUs being locked, like it's... I was just talking to someone about this at Cars and Coffee. I was like, it's really hard to, like, get it tuned and, like, somewhere reg reputable. I think I'm going to have to clone the ECU and send it out somewhere. Yep. Because, dude, too, this car feels like the power band's completely different from my car. Dude, it's crazy. I think it's right here. This makes my car feel like a uh, like a moped. So. <laughs> <laughs> there is, if you wanted to unlock your car, there's somebody that actually travels to Finland, to Femto, to unlock your ECO, and he carries it with him at all times in a carry-on. Really? So, like, you know, my thing was I was scared to ship it, but you can ship it into the United States. This guy has a briefcase and just carries like 20 ECUs with them to, that's all he does for work. Travels back and forth to unlock them. Dude, he has the best job ever. Dude, it's <laughs> sick. But if you want to do it, I would highly recommend it. You do it like that. You, I need to figure, I need you to let me know who that guy is. Cause that's what I want to do. I was scared if, if I ship it out, someone's going to damage it or hurt it or Yo. something like that. I was really scared about that. Ooh, we're back in Mexico. Hey boys. All right, we're back in my car, which feels insanely stock after being in Vin's A90. My car feels like a grandpa's car. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be able to record and get Vin's first impressions on the manual, see how he likes it. I know you've driven it already. Uh-huh. What are like just some quick thoughts that you have about the car? First, uh, I'm going to get... Everybody that says like save the manuals and all that stuff, I could understand it because there's no better feeling than driving an automatic, I mean, uh, a manual car. I've only owned manual cars in my life. I've owned like six or seven of them and the man, the Supra was my first automatic one. And after driving automatic for a year and a half, driving this thing, nothing but smiles, man. And I forgot how to turn on the car. I forgot you had to press <laughs> in the clutch. So I felt like an idiot there. But being in Jack's car, stock seats, stock steering wheel, holy shit, it feels, it feels weird. Cause my whole interior and everything's all modified. But, all right, let's take it for a rip. So the first thing that I noticed driving this is, like everybody said, the transmission's super notchy. It feels really, really good. Pretty short for what it is coming out of the factory. And uh, the one thing that I noticed is, if I, if anybody was looking to drive or learn how to drive manual, this would be the perfect car. It's so, so easy to drive. It's a oh. really, really easy clutch. Like oh, it's yeah. so easy to drive this car. Yeah. Dude, I'm doing it right now, no problems. No problems after a year and a half. You mind if I give the cars rips too? Yeah, dude. dude. Let her rip. I And driving at the stock power band too. It feels slow compared to your car. It's fun though. It's, it's so fun, fun dude. <laughs> Holy shit, that thing is so fun. Oh man, damn, I should have picked up my camera too. I didn't get any footage of me doing rips because oh. I was in, I was all in traffic, but we'll do, I'll, I'll pick up my camera eventually later. But honestly, uh, like I said, I said this in my video too, and I'm just gonna share it with Jack's watchers. If the manual Supra came out at the same time with the automatic, I probably would have ended up with the manual car. But because I've done so much to the car and I kind of fell in love with the automatic Supra, uh, as of right now, I would not trade it. I think the ZF8 fits more of my needs because I'm trying to do like a time attack tracking build. So being able to shift quicker and downshift quicker, 
nobody ships quicker than a computer so I'm I wouldn't trade it but if I had it if it was my first time and I was doing it all over again get the manual for sure and the auto the, the rev matching it's so com it's so easy so easy so comfortable I've never had auto rev matching and I was like yo what the hell is this but it's nice my friend was like man if I had that I'd have to go down and like turn it off I'm like dude for day-to-day -day basis it's so comfortable Damn. just to be able to shift through any gear and oh, like yeah. just let the clutch out it's so easy but that's really important what he said though about the automatic versus the manual it's really important for what you want to use the car for because both of them have huge benefits huge pros and cons at the end of the day the a90 super is it's such, such a fun car oh yeah it's about what you want to get out of it the zf you know like he said nothing at the end of the day will shift faster than a computer it's like instant the manual gives you that nice feel like a race car if you're going to be using it for like a drift car or whatever that's when you might want to manual and stuff but both of them have huge pros and cons and after driving an automatic and now since i own a manual i can say like either way i love both of the cars oh yeah i think they're amazing either way the b58 too i mean it's just like if amazing. if you're nailing the supra and it's like your weekend queen get the manual because nothing feels better than driving a manual transmission just rowing through gears on a nice cruise oh I'm so glad that Jack ended up linking up with me today because we traded cars the whole day driving to all these cars and coffees and oh yeah I was I was driving his car to all the places he was driving mine so people were like someone I think I pulled up someone's like Vin they're like the f that's not Vin yeah <laughs> I was all like, like who the f is driving your car bro Nothing feels better than that. Holy f That feels so good. Excuse my language. Holy moly. Dude, I love Mexico. <laughs> oh, Mexico is too good. A manual car. I'm gonna buy a manual car. They did a really good job making the tranny feel like, like, not like modern, but like actually like a like oh, notchy yeah. and aggressive. It's oh, like yeah. not like a rubbery modern transmission that a lot of new cars come with. I really don't like that. So yeah, it's like I, a, I had the uh before this, I, the way Jack and me met, I had an F82 and I was parting out. He actually bought my kid's license. You bought the equal link mid -pipe from me, right? Did I? Did you? Oh, I did. You did, oh, that's I how did. you ended yeah. up coming yep. over. Yeah, I bought that, that's right. He, and then he saw my kid's license plate and was like, yo, I gotta buy that. So I sold it to him and we just kept in touch. But I used to have a M4, it was manual. And honestly, I think this manual transmission's better. Dude, this, this is fun. It's really fun. This is fun. I'm so excited to actually start wrenching and start doing mods to this car. After driving your car with mods and suspension done to it, it's like like refreshing. I'm like, oh, now I can't wait to do it even more kind of a thing. Like Now I'm really excited to start doing stuff to it. These cars take mod mods so well. Dude, so easy too. Oh my gosh. The amount of room that you have to work on the Supra, like doing down pipes, intakes, charge pipes, it's so easy. Dude, the intake installs look like they take five minutes. Oh yeah. Like literally. Oh yeah. I've, you know, I, I'm not a, I'm a YouTube mechanic, so I'm just YouTube certified. Uh, but anybody who's trying to modify their Supra, I would recommend, highly recommend you try to do the installs yourself. Yeah. Dude, remember when you were uh, posting videos of your M4, you did like an intake install in it stuff? Oh yeah, yeah dude. I think I bought the intakes off you, the even tree ones after. Yeah, I think you did too. <laughs> I bought everything, including your exercise bike. <laughs> I did. Oh, he bought my too. He's I like, bought everything. You got anything else for sale? <laughs> oh, dude. That's I can't. So funny. Your M4 was so clean though, but man, this. Some of you guys have not actually seen what my M4 look like. I know I put my TikTok and my Instagram in my bio. I don't expect really anyone to like go through and actually <laughs> open it up. So here's a photo of my M4. Um, I love that car. It's a completely different direction though for what I'm going towards this car. So easy, like I was so scared. <laughs> it's coming up. Out of 10, what would you rate it? Dude, out of 10, 10. It exceeded my expectations by far. Like, I I was excited to make this video and link up today, but up until I drove it, I mean, if you guys are interested, check out my channel. But I, I had a camera set up the whole time I was driving it and it was just too good. 
Vin's channel will be in the description. Oh. He, dude, you just hit like 21, 22K? Dude, just hit 25K, This guy's bro. famous right here, so. Just hit 25K. And anybody that's trying to do YouTube, just start. That's all I got to say. So we're on the way home now. Uh, just left Cars and Coffee. We went to a little meet after. You guys saw Vin's honest reaction of the Supra. He loved it. It was really, really nice to see someone with an automatic Supra drive this one and give their honest opinion. He fell in love with the car. But I'm headed home now. I'm gonna edit some of these videos and put them together. Uh, but I really wanna take a minute and think how many people actually viewed that video. 2,000 is a lot. I was really only expect, I wasn't really knowing what to expect. I was hoping, I was pretty much just happy I even got the video out in the first place. But to everyone that watched it, all 2,000 of you, which is still going up, thank you a ton for watching that video. If you guys want any other content, please let me know. I'm gonna be, uh, one of my parts should be showing up here pretty soon. We'll get that installed right away. You'll see the camera angle's a little different. I left my mount thing at home, so I can't mount onto the windshield, but whatever. I think it still looks all right. But yeah, if there's anything else that you guys want to see, I'm pretty much just bringing my camera and filming all kinds of stuff. We have a lot more in plan. I hope you guys are excited as I am. I plan to document everything along the way. So once again, thank you guys to everyone who viewed the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any requests about videos, just put them in the comments, let me know. I'm happy to try to put them together.